Shalom, shalom, chabarim. Greetings, greetings to all others viewing this and listening to this right here. We're going to say something that is controversial, right? It's going to be very controversial, but it's accurate and right and accurate according to the scripture. Something that's controversial because once I've not taught you this, but this is what the Bible actually is saying, that the woman, Mary, Mariam, the mother of Yeshua, right, is the seed of of the seed of David. She is of the seed. You know, when a man has a seed, he has sons and daughters. It could be a son or a daughter. We could go to, um, what is it, Leviticus. Leviticus to kind of verify, to verify that right there, where it says a woman conceives of seed, right? A woman conceives of seed. She could be a male child, a zakar, or a nekeva, or a female child. So the woman, Mary, Right, this is where the prophecy in Genesis, Genesis chapter chapter three points to. You know, when it's about the seed of the, the serpent seed on one hand, and then speaking about the seed, the seed of the woman. So the woman Mary is of the seed of David, and Yeshua, right? Yeshua is the seed of the woman. This is what scripture proves from the Brit Hayashana from the Tanakh or the Old Testament Hebrew scriptures and straight into the time of the Brit Hadasha or what's called the Gospel, the New Covenant scripture. So Yeshua is the seed, right, of David. In other words, Mary, the woman Mariam, is the seed of of David. She is of that seed and she is a seed of David and Yeshua is her seed according to the Protovangelion that we have in Genesis chapter 3 and therefore, right, therefore Yeshua is of the seed of David because Mariam, his mother, is of the seed of David and her son, her first, her her firstborn, as the scripture says, her firstborn, Yeshua, is her seed. Now, Joseph, to those who say that Joseph is the biological father, that's what you suppose. And suppose there in Luke's Gospels, according to the custom, the tradition, some mention the Leverite, but that's a whole other matter. But let's keep the mathematics simple here. First, we say proposition that Mary, the woman Mary, is of the seed of David because a man's seed can be a male child or a female child. So female children are also of the seed of their father. And Yeshua is of the seed, right, of Mary, of the seed of Mary. Now people say only the man has a seed. Well, if we really look at this, we have to go back to Genesis and in Genesis, Right, chapter 3, right, Genesis chapter 3, it mentions in the prophecy the seed of the woman. The seed of the woman, right, the seed of the woman. So, proposition 1 Mary, Mariam is of the seed of David, and Yeshua, her firstborn son, is her seed. Therefore, therefore, right, therefore, Yeshua, her firstborn son, is of the seed of of David. This is how scripture brings it forward from the beginning, right? Straight to the fulfillment, right? The fulfillment that we have. In fact, even in Revelation, it speaks about the woman, right? And that the, the serpent seed will go up against her seed, the seed, right? That seed of the woman, her seed. Need we know, go to scripture? Let's go to scripture. So here's the first, here's the first word, 315 in Bereshith, in Genesis. And I will put enmity, hatred, hard feelings between thee, speaking to the Nahash, the serpent, and Haisha, and the Isha, and the woman, between thy seed, speaking to the serpent, and her seed. You see clearly where it says, and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, right? It, the seed of the woman, shall bruise the head of the Nahash. And thou, speaking to the Nahash, the serpent, shall bruise his heel. His heel is the seed of the woman. Very clear in Bereshith here, 315. Now let's go forward. We can go forward to some other areas where it speaks about seed. But here from the beginning, right? 
the alpha and omega of this right here, the ha alef and the ha tau, ha tawe, ha tav, right here. Revelation, the chazon Yohanan. We have 12, Revelation chapter 12, verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Chan. With the remnant. So this here also proves that a woman has a seed. You know, a woman has a seed. In fact, seed in the scripture, as we have from the very beginning in Bereshith and Moshe's first book, applies to the male primarily, but also, according to the scripture, it applies to the woman. So when we say that Mariam, right, Mariam, Mary, the mother of Yeshua, right, Ima, Imo, Yeshua, right, is of the seed of David. This is proven because a woman, let's go right here, let's show ones right here, right? You see what it says right here? Right here, we're in Leviticus chapter 12. Notice Leviticus chapter 12 from Revelation chapter 12. Here, Leviticus chapter 12 speaks to the Bnei Yisrael saying, if a woman have conceived seed, I right, conceived seed and born a man child. So if we take that the seed that she has, she receives from a male biologically, according to what's written in Leviticus here, that means that a woman receives this seed or conceives this seed, right? And here she borns a male child, right? A male child, right? So let's go into this verse right here. Let's go into this verse right here. And so the eighth day, so forth and so on, she will continue. And then it says right here, if, it says, and if she bear a maid child, if she bear a maid child, she gives birth to a maid child, the maid, the female child, then she shall be a you see where it goes on to speak about these Levitical rites and rituals, these rites and rituals. But notice this right here. It says, speak, right, speak, right, to the children. The Bnei Yisrael saying, if a woman have conceived seed and born a male child, it gives the example of a male child, right, woman conceiving seed. And then over here, right, it speaks about her now conceiving seed, but it happens to be a female child as we know a male can have a you know give seed to the woman right now he, he can give seed to the woman but what's interesting here is when we go to this first prophecy right the first prophecy in Bereshith where it clearly pits the seed of the Nahash right against the woman's seed right against what it says right here her seed her seed and scripture also mentions that a woman having seed even in the case of Rebecca, I think Rebecca as well. Now we know there's a biological there, right? But here, 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 just to answer the seed of the woman and also the seed of David, right, can be proven as we are proving it right here, right, concerning, right, concerning that woman, that woman of prophecy, speaking of the virgin or the betula if you please or the alma but speaking of the woman maria this woman Miriam, the woman mary the mother of yeshua hanotri right and so we have her seed right here so where it says that he is of the seed of david because his mother is of the seed of david and because he this child here yeshua fulfilling that prophecy from the very beginning is that seed right that will bruise the serpent's head and is that very same seed that the serpent would bruise his heel so here 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 we're bringing this out right here from the scriptures so once again the basic scriptural mathematics one Mariam, the mother of Yeshua, is of the seed of David. Secondarily, Yeshua, her firstborn son, is of her seed according to the prophecy. Therefore, ergo, therefore, Yeshua HaMoshiach, right, is of the seed of David according to the prophecy and is only supposed Right, only suppose, as many even today even suppose, the one West, some of the one Westers, they also suppose, 
All right, suppose. Let's go to suppose right here. Suppose. All right, suppose. Can we get it right here? Suppose. Interesting, suppose. All right, suppose. They suppose. You see right there, Matthew 2 and 10. My, they suppose. Let's look at the words right here. And then let's go right here as suppose. All right. Notice in the first instance right here, but when they slicha, slicha li, but when the first came, they suppose that they should have received more. They assume this is the parable of Yeshua HaNotri, Jesus of Nazareth, Yeshua HaMoshiach, and they likewise receive every man a penny, you know, in that parable there. Now we have right here, they suppose right here, which is a different word, dokeo, right? Then we have the word over here, nomizo, nomizo, right? Nomizo. Now this means to hold by custom or usage, you know, own as a custom or usage, follow, to follow a custom or usage, right? Following a certain custom, a tradition, like this is how we do things. And this is what we deem or suppose it to be, that this is... But then bringing out the Strong's right here, it says properly to do by law or usage, do by ha Torah. And it says it's from the word nomos. Nomos, anything established, anything received by usage, you know, some things we do often, this is how we do it, do it. This is how we do it. So the Yehudi, the Jews, the Yehudi of the first century, they had this custom because this is how they... You know, so this is where the Leverite and other aspects can come into the reasoning. But to keep it simple, a custom, a law, a command of any law whatsoever, a law or rule producing a state that's approved of by Elohim, by the observance of which is approved by Elohim, a precept, an injunction, the rule of action prescribed by reason of Mosaic law. But going through all of that, get down to the root right here, here, here. <coughs> You can see clearly the first entry, especially food or grazing, right? Secondarily is what we're looking at, law, through the idea of the prescriptive usage or generally a regulation, a regulation. So here, when we go to this, this is an interesting parable. Well, the ones who came first, right, to that, to that, that labor, to that harvest, they thought they would get more, right, than the others who came later on in the day. Because they suppose, as ones and ones will suppose that Yeshua, biological father, right? The biological father that was supposed to be, yes, was Yosef, was Joseph. But he was not the father according to the seed. And Yeshua himself began to be about 30 years of age being. Now they put this parenthetical there, but actually the parenthetical is something that was put in kind of later on. I'm saying that they put these parentheses in the English and all the old ones. We don't find such parentheses in the Hebrew, early Hebrew manuscripts or the ones translated into the Greek. You know, we don't find that there, but the later Bibles, they put that there because of many centuries of controversy on those who also had supposed things, right? They're trying to like throw some shade on this. But what it says here, it's not italicized. See, if it was italicized, it says son of Heli, that's not there. Son of Eli, that's not there. Son, the son is not there. Who was of Heli or Eli, right? As was supposed, right? Suppose the son nomi, nomizo. Once again, we have the same word to hold by custom usage, so forth and so on. Let's go down here properly to do by law usage. That is to accustom to be usual by extent to deem or to regard this is what it was regarded that's what we find throughout the narrative where they say is this not joseph's son is this not joseph's son because they did it according to the custom according to the tradition that was approved of when looked at side by side with ha torah there were customs and there were traditions many of them are not overtly described in the scripture but from study of ancient Yehudi Jewish scripture as well as from tradition and Yeshua himself began to be about 30 years of age being as was supposed according to custom according to the prescription the son of Joseph notice it says the son of Yosef which was the son of Eli the son of Eli so the suppose the supposition 
just to break down the supposition of those who say that Joseph was a biological father. Well, many ones and ones also thought that and believed that. Not all, right? Not Mardim, not even Joseph, not even Joseph himself believed that. Because then we have the scene where they had left uh, the temple, a feast, a festival, and then found out that that Yeshua, roughly about bar mitzvah age, was not with them, and they walk back, and he says, you know, about, know you not that I must be about my father's business, and Mariam did not say, look, here's your father, and Joseph said, well, my business is carpentry, you know, why, why are you still doing what you're still doing here in the temple of Jerusalem, disputing with the masters? Because Yeshua, like we, are seeking to correct many of the errors that many of the scholars and teachers or would-be wannabe teachers have presupposed about what the scripture is clearly saying according to the prophecy. Once again, the woman Mariam, Mary is of the seed of David. And Yeshua, her firstborn, is her seed, according to the prophecy, what, 315? In Genesis 315, the Protoevangelion, and therefore, because of those first two propositions, can you prove that Mariam is not of the seed of David? She is. That's why they went to take the census, so forth and so on, in Yehuda. You know, they were of the same tribe. We know that from Torah as well. We, we understand that very clearly right from Torah and it's very well brought out even in the scripture even in the genealogy that we pointed out in Luke right Luke is the genealogy of Mariam and Matthew is the genealogy of of Joseph right the the supposed father right so the fact that ones and ones suppose these things back then that just proves the point they suppose it's like man proposes, right? And Yahweh Loheinu, he disposes. And here, through his power and will, we're seeking to dispose, right, of these suppositions and to bring out the truth that Mariam, the mother of Yeshua, is that woman, right? Is that woman spoken of in prophecy, right? Who is of the seed of David. David had sons and daughters. Are we going to say that the, the daughters are not his seed? Are we going to say that the daughters are not? So you have a son, only your son is your seed because you give the sperma, if you want to believe, right? You give the sperma, only your sons. But what about the daughters? The daughters are also of that seed. And Yeshua is her seed, right? Yeshua is her seed, the seed of the woman. And this is why we brought in Revelation, right? Chap chapter 12. <coughs> Revelation chapter 12, yeah, the change of season right here, it got cold and everything, but be that as it is, come in, come in, come in, coming in from the cold. <laughs>